Hi guys, I've upgraded to the BT Smart Hub. I'm upgrading from the Home Hub 5. So this box has got some uh, new features such as new next generation AC wireless and um, a uh, more advanced filtering system. So I'm, I'm just uh, one of those, uh, you know, <laughs> got a habit now sort of thing, the latest gadget. And uh, when I saw this, um, as soon as I saw this available, I had to place an order for it to upgrade. So. I've uh, done that now, and it's arrived. It only took two days, so <clears throat> that was quite. Um, that was very good, actually. <laughs> so it's a letterbox size, so it fits through most letterboxes. But of course, some people letterboxes it might not fit through, and some people don't have letterboxes, so you always got to put that one in mind. <laughs> so it's uh, made in China, but it's designed in uh, Britain. So. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to open it now. It's got its stylophone uh, sealed wrap, so you know it's brand new. Okay, just pull. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's very weird. not want that to be opened. Okay, you've got the setup. What they've shown you on the um, on the box there. So yeah, you're uh, you connect it to your phone line. Connect that into the box. So obviously, you know if you're swapping out an old one, you know obviously where the old the new inputs go. Actually onto the box. Now the box is actually larger than the old one. Uh, normally things get smaller, but I mean in phone cases now they're actually starting to get big again. So I'm just going to put that to the side box at the moment. So that's the new box. Now I can go and compare it to the uh, Home Hub 5. Okay, so that's the Home Hub 5 in front and the new Smart Hub behind. Now, you can obviously see that there's a tw it's twice the height, but well, it's about almost the same width, just slightly wider. So, and then the back ports are on the Hum Hub 5, you've got five, four gigabit ports, and then you've got a WAN. A uh, ADSL or D DSL uh, connection there, and um, a, well, the power input, the power on and off, the USB. On the top, you've got the WESP button. See that right there, and the restart on the top on the Hum Hub Five. Whereas on this one. You've got the, um, you've just got four gigabit ports here. One, two, three, four. A USB. Now, I think it's just a 2.0. It would be nice if they did a 3.0 USB on the back of it, but they have, they were, well, we were expecting it on the Home Hub 5 and we didn't get it, so I'm guessing we didn't get it on this one either. So you've got the off on switch, your, your power input where you plug it in, your factory reset, but uh, pin. They put the WESP on the side for some reason, and you've got the the um, the, the, um, the Wi-Fi uh, card on the side of this instead of on the top like all the other routers had. So, well, the clever thing about this one is this new one. You can turn the lights 
um, you know, you can change the brightness as well and turn it off. Whereas on this one, you can only change it to two brightness levels and that was it. You couldn't turn it off. So there was a light strip there when it's on. On this one, it's here and here. So, yeah. I'm going to plug this in and see how it goes. Now, if you've had the BT Home Hub 5 or 4, you know that the power socket for it is, uh, you have to basically assemble it, put the uh, thing on to it. I think they do it so they can use the same module for all, you know, countries and just change these things here. So, I believe it goes in this way. Oh, there you go. You won't you know it's clicked, it's fine. So, that's it. And I'm going to plug it in right now. But, um, as I said, you, um, you get your instruction manual. I mean, the welcome user guide right there, and you get your old hub recycle if you want to send it off to recycle. I tend to keep. I'm going to keep this box here, and I'm, what I'm going to do is it's going to be a backup slash uh, access point. I'm going to turn it to an access point so I get um, a network upstairs because I've got it all wired now to upstairs and what I do is I just plug it into one of these ports turn off the DCP um, so this box does all the IP assigning you turn off the firewall because this is doing the firewall and basically you've turned this into an access point then once you've done that you just plug it into here unfortunately you can't use this socket you have to plug it into one of these and then you've got three additional ports so it can, so it's a switch slash wireless uh, access point, which, is, which comes in handy. Okay, so first I'm going to connect the um, VADSL slash broadband cable, and then I'm going to connect my Ethernet port. And then finally, the power cable. And then after you've done all that, you want to press the on off button on the back. And the green light will appear. When the connection has been established it will go blue. Now on the Interfinity boxes setup you don't have to do any um, yeah, you don't have to type in your uh, you know <clears throat> your uh, <laughs> details to log in to the online web so it just does it all for you which is kind of good. The light's gone from green to to uh, orange. Could be red, I'm not sure. Now it's gone blue. So that means it's now connected. Now, you can do the setup two ways because uh, what you get is your, um, your BT pass, uh, passport code on the back. But you um, can change that if you're um, a security nut like me. And uh, I always like to have a unique um, wireless um, <clears throat> password so I'm gonna do that right now on the tablet okay so uh, you type in uh, 192.168.1.254 and this screen will come up here you'll want to click on see, as I've said before that actually the light control here I've set to zero so you turn it on and then you got the brightness control, but I like to save a little bit of power. So um, also it's a bit annoying I find having the light on. So I turn that off. I'll go back now. 
go into the advanced settings and you want to click on wireless now uh, here's a little trick if you've got you know if you obviously you had a previous wireless box change the network name to your other boxes name so mine was home underscore network and obviously change your security password delete that and put that the previous boxes password in and what that will do is you, all your wireless devices will think that your new box is your old box and they will connect to it so you don't have to do any uh, setting changes to any of your devices then and of course if you've got wired internet connections to your other devices you don't have to do anything at all anyway so that, that solves the problem for the wireless and the wired obviously is unaffected anyway but what you want to do also is 2.4 um, and 5 are running together uh, but you want to run them separate because what will happen is it will be very hard to determine sometimes it'll switch on its own to 2.4 where you want to keep it 5 so press separate bands so it's 5 gig, uh, gigahertz and obviously change put a name I put uh, dash 5 and the 5 is for obviously the 5 band so that's now been switched and obviously I'll put my password in that's done then click save and that's the um, the network set so that's all you're still on your box and your box is set to work and it should take the place of the, uh, the same as the old one well thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe Bye for now.